nothing can break me. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi guys, I'm John and we are Emma and John, you welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by if you've been here before and if you are brand new, then please consider subscribing. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe yeah, button. Just there. <laughs> if you do hit the subscribe button, then please make sure to turn on the notification bell as well and then you'll be notified every single time that we post. Absolutely, yes. So we are on episode four of Secrets <laughs> About Disney Resorts. We are, and I'm enjoying this. It's just so good to get to know about different resorts and hotels and that. Yeah, and as we go on, I'm getting better at the title. <laughs> so, um, today we're going to be talking about the Contemporary, which is my least favourite looking deluxe resort in the whole of Walt Disney World. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not massively themed, so it's, it's quite a normal hotel if you look, like like a Hilton in England and what stuff. Um, so no, I can completely agree with how it looks, but there are some pretty cool facts and secrets about it. Yeah, there are. And um, this, so this is the one I was least looking forward to doing, yeah. but as we like researched into it, actually it's quite cool. It is, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the Contemporary Resort was built to uh, when the opening of Walt Disney World happened, so in 1971, I think October. Yeah, it's one of the originals. Um, this one and the Polynesian was one of the first two resorts were built. Mm -hmm. And from what we can gather, there's 750 rooms, which is so few. It's not very many at all cause for, for a Disney sort of resort, not. Um, but no, I think it's 550 in the in main, the main tower bit and 250 in... Like the garden Yeah, the wing, the wing side. I wonder if that's because a lot of it is cut off with it being like this shape. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you've got the monorail going through. A lot would be taken out by the monorail going through, yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of restaurants there, so I suppose <laughs> it's not that unrealistic. But the rooms inside are lovely. If you if you look inside the rooms, and, and they are stunning. Yeah, so let's get into the secret. Absolutely. So the first secret is that the rooms at the Contemporary were built off-site and then lifted by crane and kind of slid into place. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's modular build, it's called, um, and it saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle. They make it off-site and bring them to it and crane them in. Yeah, so they've done this at the Polynesian as well, they have. but at the Polynesian they kind of stack them on top of one another. Yeah. Um, but at the Contemporary, they always intended to kind of slide them in and they're not supposed to ever be like Slid out? No, so they're it, gonna be there forever. So they're contemporary, it's more of a honeycomb shape, um, sort of slot in, where the um pioneers and it's more stacked. Yeah, I think that's really cool. It I can cool. just imagine like <laughs> some massive warehouse somewhere yeah. with tons of bed like IKEA. Yeah. It's like a hotel IKEA. <laughs> well, I mean, considering the how what, how old the resort is, it's quite a modern way to look at it because a lot of hotels and builds now get made like that now to save time and money. Yeah. So it's quite a a modern way to do it, really. Yeah, because this is one of the first resorts that was um, built at Disney World, wasn't yeah, it, for that, the opening? So was that 1971? Yeah, um, so it's one of the originals. I think it was this one and the Polynesian was the originals um, to start off with, the two oldest resorts. And um, yeah, so it's quite a, a modern sort of way to do it. Yeah, I think that's really cool. <laughs> All right, next one's a fact. The Contemporary is home to the California Grill, one of my favourite restaurants on property. It's popular because of the fireworks show, what you can see in the evening. However, it also offers a brunch option on a Sunday. Yeah. So um, the brunch oven, like John just said, is only on a Sunday yep. and it gets really booked up so if you do want to eat that on a Sunday brunch time, lunch time, brunch time, <laughs> um, make sure that you book. Absolutely, it's it's super nice. Um, we, have, we haven't done the brunch option um, but we have done the evening. We definitely want to. Yeah, we have done the evening dinner and show we can see a fireworks from and it's a major restaurant. Yeah, you get a sushi bar, yep. um, so you can order an entree, um, they have Eggs Benedict which is John's favourite. It certainly is, yeah. And yep. pancakes, <laughs> which Emma's are favorite. my favourite, <laughs> so we're going to be happy either yeah. way. Yeah. Um, they also have a Bloody Mary station. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know how I feel about that. I um, like Bloody Mary. Yeah. I don't know if I need a whole station. But in the morning? Yeah, or brunch, so <laughs> yeah, lunch time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, but they have like salads and like breakfast cocktails. Yeah. Um, and you can just sit there and relax, take your time. Absolutely, just watch the water go past, look at the amazing views what you can see from there. It just relax and enjoy your food and, and enjoy the company you're with. Yeah, it'd be a really nice way to spend a few hours if Absolutely. you're celebrating yeah. or if you um, are brunch people, it's a super fancy way to Absolutely. enjoy Absolutely, you can brunch. start, you get, get up a bit later in the day and start your day right. Yeah, it is two table service credits if you're on the dining plan. Yep. Um, when we do it, we'll let you know if it's worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Okay, so number three is a secret. Um, from the Contemporary Resort, you can hire a cabana. So down on the Seven Seas Lagoon, there, yep. a lot of the resorts around that area have like beaches. Yeah. I guess they're man-made beaches. <laughs> I um, think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't think they're natural. <laughs> um, but you can hire your own like shaded area, it's you private, can. you get like a fridge. Yeah, if you're awesome, you get a TV, you get a out there that you can charge your um, net recorded voices from. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's everything you need basically to have a whole day chilling out by, by the swimming pool or um, it's the sea. <laughs> like, yeah, the sea. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you get your own like attendant, um, yeah. you get non alcoholic beverages like in your fridge and brought to Absolutely. you if you want them. Um, it just seems like me and John normally plan a non Disney day. Yeah. Um, and normally we go shopping we or do. like do an activity. Yeah. We're not very good at resting. No, I always like the idea of a commander. Mm -hmm. um, but I think knowing me and you, we would sort of end up and using it for a couple of hours and that's about it. Yeah, but if you are somebody that really likes to like lounge yeah. on a beach and you're you know, you're happy to just chill and I, I'm I wish I could do it, Absolutely. trust me. Yeah. Then these might be definitely worth looking at. Yeah, they are pretty awesome. Um, like I say, we look into them and they, they look lovely. You got to say you got a TV, you got a place to charge everything, you got the, the, a mini fridge there. So it's everything you need and if you're into that then it'd be amazing. Wouldn't this be a great place if you are like a, a vlogger or a YouTuber <laughs> to like work on your video for? That would be good, yeah. Maybe Just I edit. could do that. Just edit all day. That awesome. sounds like yeah. real life. <laughs> from my office today. <laughs> <laughs> The next one's a secret. The Ken Temporary also have got a restaurant called The Wave, and they offer a beer tasting um, every Saturday between three and four. Um, and all your craft beers that you can taste, and they free a charge. Yeah, so I think definitely John would like yeah, to absolutely. do this. But it's all the craft beer that they've got on tap. Yep. Um, so it's not necessarily all of the craft beers. No. And the spaces get really, really booked up, and they don't officially take reservations. No, but you can call ahead. To See if you can hold a spot. Yeah. Um, it's not guaranteed, but yeah, it's an, an unofficial thing that you can yeah. do. And if you're around there at that time or you're staying at the Contemporary and you bob back for Absolutely. a relax, I mean, why not? Absolutely. Go find your new favourite beer. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely try this because I like beer anyway, and for a free beer tasting, you can't go wrong. Yeah, but also you like to try the beers in the different restaurants, Absolutely. Um, the different beers to see because you don't, when you go abroad, because America for us yeah. is abroad. You don't know what beer you like there, I guess. Absolutely not, no. Um, the, the beer is so different everywhere you go, so you can find your, your new favour. Yeah. So the next one is a secret. So we've all seen the cute pictures with the Metal Mickey. Um, he's a super Instagram spot. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so Every actually, day. bonus secret, there's an Instagram spot there. Absolutely. Um, you can sit upon him and have your picture taken. But yeah. right by there, um, the Contemporary Resort has a butterfly garden. Yeah. Um, so you can see lots of plants, butterflies, um, information about all the butterflies. And there's also a little like plucky thing, like a, a sign, I guess. <laughs> I just mean a sign. A yeah, a plant. <laughs> It tells you all about the life cycle of butterflies, and I just think that might be a really cute spot to take some pictures, no, to absolutely. go and enjoy the wildlife. Yeah, if you're lucky enough to find a butterfly in, in, a, in a particular flower and get a really cool shot of that, that'd be really smart. Yeah, and also you can head around there and get your Mickey ear Instagram yep. on. That would be really <laughs> absolutely. cute. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a nice little secret um, that I didn't know was there, and I'm sure most people didn't know was there. Mm -hmm. Well, now you know. Yeah. So next one's a fact, you can get a boat transportation from the Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness. What's pretty cool, um, instead of walking or getting a normal bus, you can jump on a boat and take a scenic route and get some really cool shots. Yeah, it gives you more options for places, I mean, everywhere within Disney is accessible. Yeah. Um, but it gives you easier options for dinner, yeah. um, both of the Wilderness Lodge in the world, Fort Wilderness are really cool places to go visit. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, they have their own secrets which will be coming, <laughs> we'll so come. I don't want yeah. to give away too many. Um, the Contemporary Resort is also the only resort that you can walk to Magic Kingdom from. Yeah, um, we've actually done that mm -hmm. in the past. It was actually really cool. Yeah, it was so cool um, and so easy and you, it didn't take us long at all. No, there's hidden Mickeys along the path which yeah, is there awesome. Was. Yeah. Like by the time you can't see the Contemporary anymore, you can see Magic Kingdom. Yeah, it's, it's so not easy. A long walk it didn't take 
like it's long at all. No, and you also pass through your own security that way. They bag checked yeah. me on the way. Um, and it's so quiet. Not many people use that. Well, there was that just us, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's, it's not long at all. Yeah, so we definitely would recommend if you're staying at the Contemporary and, you know, you, you can do the walk because it's yeah. not very long. Well, the Contemporary is the only resort that you can actually walk from Magic Kingdom um, to, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's going to be definitely easier when you get out of the park in the evening to yeah. just stroll back. It's definitely one of your bonus to stay at a Contemporary for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one is a secret and it's pretty gross. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty gross. So there's this cocktail that the Contemporary do. It's called the Seven Seas Lagoon Cocktail, obviously because the hotel is on the Seven well, Seas Lagoon. Well, that's moment. <laughs> yeah, it's $22. It's a pretty big cocktail. Yeah. It's blue. I'll insert a picture <laughs> here. Um, it's got like vodka, coconut rum, lime, pineapple, soda water. Sounds delicious, that right? Sounds lovely, yeah. yeah. But it's rumoured that the bartender has a tiny vial of water that actually comes from the Seven Seas Lagoon, <laughs> which I want to just preface now must be gross because there's boats, there's floats, yeah. there's jet skis yeah. and all of this nonsense. Yeah. And he is supposedly, or she, <laughs> bartender could be a she, to put a drop into the cocktail to make it authentic. Now, obviously <laughs> this is just a rumour and this isn't... I can't, I can't believe that this is true. No, but it's cool boomer. It's cool, Isn't that gross? It's cool boomer to start and see who believes you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that Disney are putting dirty water Absolutely in your not. cocktails. No. But, I mean, the Seven Seas Lagoon always makes me think of mermaids. <laughs> and um, I think adding a little bit of mermaid water to your cocktail is pretty fun. It might be tap water. But do you think pretty... they actually do it? Do you think if they actually pretend to I would, put I would love to see if they did. If That'd you know, amazing. if yeah. you've had the Seven Seas Lagoon cocktail and you know you've seen them make it, yeah. let me know if they put anything extra. They would have in to. There. They would have to. Just, just, well, it's just that a rumor. rumor. That'd be amazing. I Disney, just, I... If you don't do it, listen to us because that'd be oh, amazing. Oh, they could put like <laughs> um. You know, for the Prosecco, you can get those little things that make your Prosecco all like shimmery. Yeah. We've got some in the cupboard. Yeah. Um, they yeah. could get some of that in a vial and put that in. That would be awesome. That would be so yeah. cool. <laughs> oh, I, maybe we'll try one. Disney, Although, listen to us, but you're not. But if you are, <laughs> so what? Glitter in the cocktail, please. <laughs> Next fact is we, we talked about activities, all the resorts that we've we covered so far, um, and all resorts have their own activities, but in the contemporary, they do water activities. So if you're into power staying or water, um, water skiing or, or tubing yeah. or wakeboarding, and you can also rent boats from there. Absolutely, see, so there's plenty of water sports activities you can do. And i done water, um, power sailing from Greece one year, and that was incredible in Greece. So I can just imagine how amazing it would be to have Magic Kingdom in the background, and obviously your resorts in the background, the, 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 the Seven Seas Lagoon. It'd be amazing to get some footage of that, and definitely if you're into that, there's some really cool activities. Yeah, I think renting a boat might be really fun yeah. there as well, um, to go off and sail off and feel like you're not necessarily in Disney for a Absolutely. little bit. And also you can go fishing from the Contemporary. You can, yeah. Um, if you're into fishing, you can. it's, it's a catch and release policy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. You can have another option to do that if that's your thing. Mm -hmm. The next one is a fact, and it's a little bit of a history lesson. <laughs> so the Contemporary Resort originally opened as the Contemporary Resort Hotel. Yep. That was its working title. So while they were building it, the, the that's what the builders and stuff would call yep. it. Um, but its original name was supposed to be the Tempo Bay Hotel. So um, everybody got used to calling it the Contemporary Resort Hotel um, and then Roy Disney came along and he was like <laughs> why, is, why are we trying to call it the Tempo yeah. Bay? That sounds stupid. He was quoted saying, that's too phony, um, we, we call it the Contemporary. Yeah, he thought it was simpler. Yeah. I quite like the name, the Tempo <laughs> Bay. It sounds kind of musicy. Yeah. Um, I can see why he's done it. I can see where he's coming from. I think contemporary just flows better. Yeah, maybe. And it sounds posher. Yeah. Um, which I suppose it is. And obviously at design. that time there was going to go from the modern contemporary thing and that's what they're aiming for um, when they built this resort. So I guess that, that the way they kept it for what they were naming it and it was more, more simple and easier. Mm -hmm. See, next one 
is a fact. The Contemporary is home to the largest Christmas tree on property. It tops out at 70 feet high, so that's really, really big. We've seen this Christmas tree and it looks incredible. Yeah, all of the Disney trees are so impressive. Yeah. They're all so different. Um, I like the really skinny trees that Absolutely. Disney has sometimes. It's really cool. <laughs> it is really cool. And it, it looks incredible and so impressive when you, when you see it. Mm -hmm. So surprisingly to me, probably not to a lot of you, there are a lot more um, facts about the contemporary that we haven't covered because we just picked 10 Absolutely. facts and secrets. So if you do want to go and have a look, then make sure to have a check out of some of those. But we picked the ones that we thought were most interesting. Absolutely. There are so many different facts and secrets you can pick with all the results that we do. We just pick our favourite. Yeah. So if you are interested in more, go and check it out yourself. Yeah, and let us know if you know any secrets and facts about the Contemporary Resort that we haven't mentioned that are really cool because I always like hearing those down. Absolutely, yeah. And we'll see you in our next video. Take care guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.